My name is Roger Rosili. And I came from Sarawak. I was born in a rural kampung in Kuching, Sarawak. I went to art school in College Ikip, Pahang, and then my BA in Fine Arts at UITM Shah Alam. Initially, I wanted to become a comic artist. That is my earliest ambition. And then I went to the art school and I discovered fine art. I've been a practicing artist after graduation for 12 years now. And this exhibition is like my third solo exhibition. The human body is created as a mechanism with the potential ability to verbalize a decision made by a person's mind in every physical action decided from his brain. The human history is written by our actions and by revealing the anatomy, removing the skin in my artwork, so how they behave when they spell out an action like holding a gun or pulling a trigger. The actions came to happen because of these muscles. Our mind give instruction to the muscle to act on the action. So for me, it's like spelling the action. You know, the, I see the muscle and the tendons and the bones, like the alphabets, they create words, like the words create sentence. I try also to address my thoughts on how a human being with all these potentialities to portray the efforts of our daily struggle in life and while abiding to the natures and laws of existence. As an artist, I also the audience. In fact, I'm the first audience of my artworks. For me personally, the artwork is like I already have the ideas in my head and making the artwork is like the way how to share it with the audience. The audience can have their own personal uh, reading or personal interpretation because for me like artwork is like a mirror and like you reflect on it when you contemplate on an artwork in front of you so like you're actually looking more about yourself than the artist making the artwork reflects you on what on your intellectual on what you read on what you've seen before whether you like it or not so if you are in front of an artwork you are actually getting to know yourself at least from that uh, perspective from the artwork's perspective it reflects you on at least maybe oh i don't like this artwork so you know that day when you're in front of the artwork you are a person who don't like that artwork so at least it reflects on yourself Art making is like an expression of the person making the artwork as an artist. So as an artist, you like you should have your own aesthetic freedom. You don't have to like to get an artistic license to explore something. You know, artist is basically can express them in whatever form or language or style they, they want to use as long as it serves the expression. Curiosity has always been my muse. I always influenced by the not knowing instead of like presenting opinions or answer or like projecting my answers. I'm interested in the question, so I mostly I try to frame up and display the questions in itself so everybody can share my curiosity on the subject. It's interesting because people always expect artists to always know what they're doing. But because is this this is a creative process, means you are dealing with something new every time. We cannot expect artists to always know what they're doing because it's a new thing and then they, they don't know what it is yet. So that's the my entry point to my process of art making. I try to like to limit myself to a certain kind of idea of myself as an artist, or what is a Georgia style, what is a Georgia. For me, the freedom is like before my ethnicity, because people have been expecting me to do Sarawak thing just because I'm from Sarawak. Eh? For me, before my ethnicity, before my place of origin, before my political view, even before my gender or even my religion, I am but first a human being. I, I did not plan it to be like to make serial artwork. But this is the only thing how to make it work. Because sometimes I have certain ideas and it have iterations or like other possibilities different than the other, more than one possibility. So I have to like, I try to entertain all of that and it becomes like a cluster of information about the same subject. 
when I came up with the idea of this body of work, uh, Anatomy of Fate, it was like five or seven years ago and I have this uh, set of major works. For me, it only works if exhibited together in one exhibition. But I don't have that opportunity other than a solo exhibition. So I worked my way up and I built up the series of body of work that inspired from that subject matter. So it becomes a stronger structure support that body of work. Now that this is the opportunity to reveal the, the artwork as I intended it a few years ago, so now my responsibility to that idea was done. It's a debt paid, so I can move on to another art form, another curiosity in my head. <laughs>